Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and uh, yeah, what have we got here today? So this is the official AMD press pack for its second generation processors which I've been lucky enough to uh, have been sent from uh, straight from AMD and uh, today is all about the, uh, the top end flagship, the 2990WX which is a f the first 32 core desktop processor. It's the most powerful desktop processor ever to have been made. Um, so AMD is regaining that performance crown. Um, sadly, we can't show you performance numbers today. Today is literally just about unboxing this beast and uh, taking a look at the specifications. Um, there's been lots of rumors and things flying around there, lots of leaks. Um, as usual regarding uh, these products, but today everything's going to be nailed down. We're going to know exactly what's going to be released, what its specifications are, and um, you know, just looking at the uh, the time scale of releases because not everything is going to be launched today as far as second generation forever goes. There are going to be four new processors um, and we're going to see launches between now and October. But today it's all about the uh, 32 core, so let's take a look. So first up then, let's look at the specifications, prices and release dates of all the second generation Threadripper CPUs. So there are now four, and uh, last time of course there were three, but what's actually happening is the lower end, the 1900X, is basically falling by the wayside, they're completely getting rid of that and there won't be anything below 12 cores now. Um, so we will see replacements for the 1950X and the 1920X, which had 16 cores and 12 cores respectively. Um, they will be replaced by the 2950X and the 2920X. Um, now, sitting above these for the first time is a whole new kind of range of Threadripper CPUs, and uh, they will be the Threadripper 2990WX, WX standing for workstation, and uh, that, of course, is the flagship model, the 32-core 64-thread model, and uh, that will be underpinned by the Threadripper 2970WX. So we've got two new top-end processors here with 32 and 24 cores. The Threadripper 2970WX has 24 cores and 48 threads. So that's kind of, you know, more than anything that, that Intel's got at the moment. And of course, the uh, the Threadripper 2990WX, the 32 core, is kind of in a different league to Intel's uh, current 18 core, which is the uh, 7980XE, of course. So these are all going to be staggered in launches. Today, um, we are actually seeing pre-orders of the flagship, the 2990WX. That will retail for $1,799, and you can pre-order it today. Um, that will be released uh, next week. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, Today isn't about performance numbers. We're not allowed to show performance numbers today. It's literally just about unboxing, which we'll get to in a minute, and uh, talking about the specifications, prices, and launch dates. So the next launch date will be the end of August, and that will be for the 2950X, which is the 16 core. That's kind of, um, I can't really talk about these things in mainstream, can I? But it's kind of the more mainstream Threadripper. This is gonna, the 2950X is the 16 core replacement for the 1950X. and. What that one is, is basically for, you know, if you if you're use your PC for a mix of things from high-end content creation to gaming, um, that kind of thing, that's the processor that you're going to be wanting, uh, wanting to focus on. Um, and that will retail for $899. Now, we'll have to wait till October, though, for the release of the other two processors. So the other two being the 24-core high-end workstation-focused model, which is the 2970X, and also the cheapest second generation proce uh, Threadripper processor, the 2920X, which has 12 cores, and that will retail for $649. And both of those two will be available in October. So clearly AMD is kind of pushing you more towards the high end of those two processors, the uh, 2990WX, the 32 core, and the brand new 16 core uh, 2950X. So. Prices then, we'll just uh, have a quick overview of those. Uh, I've already mentioned a couple of them. So top end, you're starting at $1,800 pretty much for the 2990WX. It then falls quite sharply down to $1,300 for the 24-core 2970WX. Um, falling sharply again to $900 for the 2950X and finally to $650 for the 2920X. So another specification that we should talk about is the TDP. And uh, for the low end models, that still sits around 180 watts. So not particularly tricky to deal with. You'll still need some fairly beefy cooling, but using um, you know, Noctua's air coolers that they produced a while back for the uh, Threadripper Socket TR4, uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Of course, if you want extra performance, especially because the, uh, the new CPUs uh, support Precision Boost and Precision Boost Overdrive, um, or Precision Boost 2, should I say, and Precision Boost Overdrive, uh, 
you, you will see more performance with better cooling. Now, um, cooling does become a slight issue as you go up the range because the TDP for the 32 and 24 core parts is now 250 watts. Um, so that is gonna need some fairly substantial cooling. Um, AMD has tried to uh, you know, work out some way of dealing with this um, with a product of its own. It's now got a brand new, uh, I, reluctant to call it a reference cooler because it, it, it's by no way, a, a, it looks like a reference cooler. It's absolutely enormous. Uh, but we'll look at that in a minute when I uh, unbox the uh, the processor. But yeah, you're gonna need some fairly substantial cooling to deal with a 32-core uh, uh, desktop CPU with a TDP of 250 watts. So if you're expecting to use some of the one of the smaller Noctua coolers that was made for Threadripper, you're probably gonna have to look somewhere else for your, for your CPU cooling. So in terms of cache amounts, we're still looking at 32 megabytes for uh, the L3 cache on the 16 and 12 core parts, but we're now looking at 64 megabytes uh, for the 2990WX and the 2970WX. Okay, so enough with the specifications, let's uh, open up the box and I'm glad to stand up for this one and uh, move the camera back a bit because it's such an absolutely enormous box that's been taking up half my house for the last week. Um, so that's the top and uh, as you can see here there's uh, an absolutely gorgeous kind of aluminium, uh, brushed aluminium plate here. There's actually two plates and I'm already planning on using this in, uh, in a case model or something like that because it looks absolutely great. So I'm just going to take the uh, clips off here. Uh, already taken one of them off so it's a bit easier to do. And here is the final reveal and this of course isn't what you're going to be getting in the box. This is kind of um, just for the uh, just for the press to show off to uh, to you guys. So it's some kind, of, some kind of massive kind of crazy acrylic aluminium frame going on there. And uh, what I'm going to do now is try and get the processor out of its little box. And there we go. Put that down to one side. Move the box away, and uh, there you go. That is the, uh, the world's first 32 core desktop processor. So what we're looking at here is the, uh, the Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX. And uh, this is the brand new packaging that we'll see. I think it looks nicer than the, uh, the original packaging for Threadripper. It's certainly a lot easier to deal with. Um, AMD's actually shown me how to, uh, to actually take everything apart and I'll, uh, I'll do that in just a second because I haven't actually even opened this yet. So this is literally how you'll be uh, getting it if you uh, if you buy the 2990WX. And uh, also, if I just move him to one side for a second, here is the 16-core, uh, the, uh, which is the uh, 2950X. So as you can see, they come in uh, identical packages, and uh, which is uh, kind of cool, I kind of like it. It's almost like it sort of appeared from the heavens kind of thing, you've got kind of a, uh, you know, sort of meteorite, sort of kryptonite kind of um, angle thing going on there. If you can see that, I'm not sure if you can on the camera because it's all it's all a bit glossy and reflective. Um, so I'll just put him to one side, and then we can uh, actually take it out and talk about the uh, what you're actually getting with this product. So you kind of take the uh, the top off, and then I think I'm going to need to look at this. Aren't I? It seemed easy from the video. <laughs> Okay, so I've actually worked out how to get into it now. It's the first time I've actually done that because I haven't actually opened these. So what you do, uh, if you're having trouble like me, uh, there's actually a, a f switch here that you um, you do actually follow what's, uh, what's going on with the arrow. And uh, all you do is you kind of flip it across like that. And then like your average uh, tempered glass PC case, um, if you've got one of those at the moment, you just flip it down like so, and then your processor will be revealed. So. Let's see if I can uh, fail just as spectacularly on uh, getting the processor out. And um, I think this is like a uh, another front cover, so that kind of comes down like that. And um, so there he is. I'm gonna try and take it out. Again, this is the first time I've done this uh, completely for the first time on camera. So. If I can do that, anybody can. It's, uh, it is actually much easier than it was. I was just uh, trying to do it on camera and not probably paying full attention to the box. So here we are. That is the uh, Threadripper 32 core 2990WX. And um, yeah, what, an what a stunning processor. So you're dealing with exactly the same package as 
uh, the previous generation Threadripper CPU, so the CPU is compatible with uh, current X399 motherboards. You don't need anything extra, um, apart from a bit of extra cooling probably, um, but what you probably will need to do is apply a BIOS update to your, uh, your current motherboard. So uh, whatever motherboard you've got, I think most if not all of them have some kind of USB BIOS flashback. So you don't necessarily need to own a previous generation uh, Threadripper CPU to update the BIOS. Most of them will let you update the BIOS without even having a CPU in the CPU socket, which is kind of cool. So just be aware of that. Um, you know, the current motherboards or all X399 motherboards are compatible with this CPU and indeed all the other second gen Threadripper CPUs. So as you can see, it's got the, uh, the, the old um, sort of socket protection mechanism. So you kind of slide this into the top latch of the processor socket, which I'll do in a minute, just to show you um, exactly how it works again. And, uh, but that, that is it as far as the unboxing of the processor goes, but we do have a couple of more products to look at. So I will move on and we can have a look at the, uh, at the cooler that AMD has come up with as well. Now there's probably going to be a lot of discussion about how to actually cool your Threadripper CPU but one option you do have is with this monstrous cooler here, the uh, Wraith Ripper that AMD has uh, designed in, uh, in partnership with Cooler Master and uh, this enormous cooler is capable of dealing with any of the second generation Threadripper CPUs. Uh, obviously, if you want maximum cooling, you're going to want to go for a large all-in-one liquid cooler or custom liquid cooling but I kind of like the fact that AMD you know, has worked to offer some kind of air-cooled solution here because it means that you can air-cool any of its second-generation Threadripper CPUs. And actually, they did actually uh, decide to make this before Intel's slight mishap at a recent um, trade show where it was found out that it was uh, using a water chiller to cool its 28-core uh, processor. But you know, it's um, it's tip for tap really, and uh, there's not really a dig here. It might look like it, but AMD was actually making this before uh, Intel uh, had that mishap at that conference. So, uh, but it's kind of useful because not everybody likes uh, liquid cooling, whether it's custom liquid cooling or the all-in-one liquid coolers that are out there. So it's great to see that there is at least one air-cooled option if you if you are going to buy uh, buy a Threadripper CPU. And of course, with the standard socket. TR4 mounting mechanism on the bottom that you can see there. This is compatible with previous generation uh, CPUs as well as the new CPUs because they're basically all one and the same when it comes to processor sockets. So as you can see, the thermal paste is pre-applied, uh, so it's very, very easy to install. And um, you've just got a few screws on the top that, uh, that adjust these uh, the screws on the bottom. So you basically just screw it straight to the, uh, the processor socket. So, uh, you've got RGB lighting as well, all this stuff on the top, all the logos, they light up. You've got uh, the included cables, PWM, power, and the RGB cable that goes through USB. And um, yeah, so it's a uh, very interesting addition. It's not going to be included with any of the, uh, the CPUs, uh, unlike the mainstream Ryzen stuff, uh, you, where you get the, uh, the Wraith uh, Prism and the Wraith Stealth, that kind of thing. This will be a separate product. And um, yeah, I kind of like it. Um, I think if your case is big enough, it's uh, got quite a height going on there. Um, as you can see, you'll need a fairly large case to actually mount it, but it's great to see that there will be at least one air-cooled option because I'm not entirely sure that some of Noctua's efforts will be able to cope, especially with the 32-core model. So uh, that's it for the cooler, and uh, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. So feel free to have a look at my article on Forbes where there's a lot more information about the, uh, the release date specifications and some discussion on there. I will be back soon with the full unveiling, including performance numbers for the uh, Threadripper 2990WX, because we're not allowed to show that today, unfortunately. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe, and uh, watch out for more coverage on second generation Threadripper. Thanks for watching.